Governor Tim Walz officially started his second term today. The next four years present a new opportunity for his agenda. That's because Democrats control the Capitol. Caroline Cummings reports on what to expect when lawmakers kick off a new session tomorrow. I, Tim Walz. I, Tim Walz. Governor Tim Walz took the oath of office Monday alongside other state leaders re-elected this fall. Democrats swept statewide offices during November's election. The era of gridlock in St. Paul is over. The surprise, the DFL taking back the legislature too, clearing a path for Democrats to pass their ideas with less resistance. The issues that were left that 10 years ago um, to make sure that those things happen now and then I expect the Democrats to go big. Democratic strategist Abu Amara worked for House Democrats 10 years ago, the last time there was a DFL trifecta. But one party rule doesn't mean total party agreement. On the policy, there's going to be significant disagreements. And especially when you have a one seat uh, majority in the Senate, that means every single senator, Democratic senator, essentially has a veto pen. And so there's going to be a lot of compromise. And that's naturally going to bring things kind of to the middle of where Minnesotans are. There is already talk about passing paid family leave and legalizing recreational marijuana. The governor on Monday called for big investments in education. And in a sign of how Democrats want to move some key parts of their agenda quickly, there's already a public hearing scheduled to put abortion rights into law. And I say the trifecta giveth and the trifecta taketh away. GOP strategist Amy Koch is the former Senate Majority Leader who knows getting everyone to agree is easier said than done. There's a lot of pressure in single party government. But there's room for bipartisanship to pass money to fix bridges, roads and other construction projects. Democrats will have to work with Republicans to make that happen. Caroline Cummings, WCCO, 4 News. The House and Senate will begin their new session at noon tomorrow.